it is obviously love bug season here in Florida the reason they call them love bugs is because look there's two together every time so when you hit them it's a big mess and yeah doesn't look so good on a white vehicle not real sure why people feel like they have to shoot these signs bird shot and slugs I mean a piece of paper would work just as good to sight your gun in here comes the big one now guys I'm gonna tell you right now you see that alligator coming towards us that thing's got to be 10 feet why do you think he's he sees us standing here why is he coming over here he, he thinks we're gonna fall in well he knows he's gonna get fed that is a bad deal because see here comes another one they are associating humans with food okay so yeah now if you do fall in what's he gonna do yes or if your dog or whatever I mean they're not gonna they'd eat the dog anyways but these are animals that have been around for a long time and they are opportunistic feeders you this just proves that people stop here and throw food to them look at there comes another one there comes another one they associate us with food it is crazy and it it's scary because that just tells you that people are coming here feeding these alligators that's why you don't feed them because now when they see people they want to approach them they want to come right up to them which puts the alligator in danger it puts the humans in danger all because somebody thinks it's a good idea it's fun to feed them these are wild animals and they are extremely dangerous period Look at them come running, man. Meanwhile, there's fish everywhere, but they'd rather just get an easy meal, a piece of chicken or some fish that people catch and throw back in. Sorry guys, I got nothing for you. Oh, now that other one's joining in. So what, two or three of them already went under the bridge, right? So how many are out here now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So eight alligators in just a few minutes have made their way to this bridge because they see us. Which is crazy because cars go by constantly all day here. So there's always movement. So don't tell me they don't have good eyesight to be able to say, oh, yep, there's somebody standing on the bridge. Let's go get our free lunch. That's a big one right there. It's a very uneasy feeling. Let's go see what's on the other side. Quickly. Whoa, that's a big one. Now just think, there's more under the bridge still. So if a deer or something tried to cross in this particular area to swim across the river, a pig, his odds of uh, getting out, I would say probably 1% if, one way out there. if maybe not 0%. Because these guys, this is their world. They can move just as quick in the water as a lot quicker than something can, can swim. Beautiful though, isn't it? Look at those 
beautiful old oak trees with all the Spanish moss, cabbage palms right there mixed in with them. I love my Aka. One of the unfortunate side effects. Aww, so you got new pets. How are you going to take them home? Nope. Do you know what to feed them? Uh, Hurry up, dude. Oh, gosh, they're all in there. Get Ellie, get in the car. Oh, my goodness. I can't open the door. Well, if it isn't the coronavirus, Ow. there's something to keep you inside right here. Love bugs. Kind of gross. Controlled burn. You can see these long needled pines can tolerate it. So they'll use that road as a buffer. So they do this on days that the wind isn't terrible and they keep it from jumping and they just control it and then it goes right up to that tree line right there and it's just the whole meadow you can see where it maybe got away from them a little bit on the far end as you can see it burned up into the forest a little bit and got into the canopies of the trees but now all of this nitrogen created from all the plant matter being burnt all that dark stuff goes back into the sandy soil and much quicker than like what decomposition would do where the leaves and the old grass and stuff like that dies and breaks down fire returns it right to the soil and then rain and stuff washes it down in and that's why you get that lush undergrowth comes back through and it's better for all the deer this is this year's growth right here and you can see it's not green anymore but the top will take over but they have selected areas that they do this to the meadows and different places the open pasture and it just gives all of the animals living in the woods and stuff they come out feed on all the new growth so that's a before Look at that. Bang, I wish I could shuck a clam that fast. That is so cool. He gets every piece out too. It's so cool to watch them teach their babies how to eat. Let's see if he grabs another one, watch. 
alligator. He's smaller than what our alligator was. Spike. The whole shoreline is littered with shells. It amazes me that there's any left. This is like a freshwater mussel. Do you see the pearling inside there? Yeah. That's what pearls are made out of. Not necessarily from a mussel, but from an oyster. When a little piece of sand gets inside the shell, it irritates the pearl or the oyster. So it wraps that pearl. It wraps it in that until it wraps it and wraps it, and then it makes it smooth. But the bigger the pearl, the longer it's been inside it, because then it still gets uncomfortable for the oyster because it's getting bigger and bigger. But they keep wrapping it and wrapping it, and and these look like little got one. cherry stones. Okay, he got one. Is it a snail or a clam? It's a little. Okay, stop. Let's see. Look at that. He uses his beak to get his... Get, he pinches it in half and gets inside it. Slides right in there like a knife. See how narrow their beak is at the end? Look at that. Pulls it out. Look at the pink in it. Oh, beautiful. Sasquatch. <laughs> I don't know where you get it from. Where do I get it from? Oh wait, go watch our Mayaka River video with Corey and you'll see who I got it from. <laughs> See all these guys? All well, these are little baby oaks. Now, a lot of these were actually planted here. You know how they were planted? Nope. Squirrels. Because they want to bury them so that the deer and the other stuff won't find them as well, and then they come back and get them later. But these are all babies from these big oaks. And you'll see a lot of them get nibbled off because the deer and pigs and stuff browse on them. Now some of these trees obviously can blow over from the wind. Some of them to get away from these other canopies that are up here. These other trees, they grow together, and so they're fighting for light. So they're going towards the light, and nothing will grow in the shady side. So it'll grow and grow and grow, and it'll get so heavy on one side, fighting to get up to the light, that eventually, I mean, this tree could be 150 years old, who knows? And all of a sudden, one day, it'll just get too heavy because of the sandy soil, and boom. It's still alive though, you can see. This branch wraps around right here. Still has leaves on it. Who knows how long it's been laying there. Quite some time though. I mean, even the main branches that broke off on the ground are already decaying and rotten. Well, they're different kinds of trees. Well, the root systems are connected in a lot of these trees, so they can hold themselves up together the spider web I bet you see that little tree behind you with those long leaves on it I'll bet yeah I was gonna say those typically have big old thorns they look like some of the um, locust trees that we have up north Put a long stick up in the air. 
and put a blanket down. Got yourself a nice little hut and a chair. Put a TV right there. Oh, Play see, you were Fortnite. doing great until you said TV and <laughs> Fortnite. Play some Fortnite. Solar powered. You gotta yeah. think. You gotta think out of the box, there, Chief. Are they gonna let electronics in here? No, there will be no electronics. I want to pet squirrels. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just be still. It's all fun and games till you lose a finger. <laughs> they won't be so cute anymore. And you won't be afraid of sharks, you'll be afraid of squirrels. Yeah, right. We're not going to the park, let's go out in the ocean. Just don't do that with gators. No. <laughs> they are not your friends. We actually had one as a pet. Oh, really? We lived in Michigan and we had one for oh, several years. No kidding. Wow. Let it go on the sewers? On the yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's with all his brothers Cleveland. and sisters. <laughs> uh oh, now you got another friend. Boy, that's a big old crow or a raven. Is that a crow or a raven? It's a raven. It's a raven. But it has that tint of purple in it. So these are my new friends. What were your names again? Sherry and Bob. Bob. And Bob. So we struck up a conversation. Lo and behold, hopefully we got a couple new subscribers. Oh, you yes. do. We're I guarantee you, you do. All right. Probably our family. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> well, you guys have a great. Take it was care, great man. talking nice to you. you. See ya.
Look at there's another one laying right there on the ground. Oh, he bedded down. I'll bet that's another buck because right now they're in bachelor groups still. See that plant, the palm tree laying down? There's one underneath it too. I'm gonna sneak by here. Man. That's last year's baby. What do you think? If you ever get a chance to come to Mayaka, come down here. It's, it's awesome. It's beautiful. All the palm trees, all the different plants. It's just so the animals. It's awesome. I know we've done a video out here before, but trying to get the kids out of the house. They're stuck on their computers doing school work from home and they just opened the parks back up so there's a few people in here but it's just a good way to spend the day it's raining it was thundering a second ago so we're probably gonna call it a day but what do you guys got to say anything I just got bit awesome. fire ants. other than that you got anything to say <laughs> it was a good day alligators a lot of cool stuff anyways guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do we'd appreciate it and uh stay healthy out there stay safe we love you we are